Imagine if I put got rice in there. It usually comes with rice. It comes with rice, cheese, steak, and those little crunchy fucking Cheetos or whatever it's called. Nachos. Mm. Ugh. 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 I definitely have to go on the strip and burn off these fucking carbs. You don't want it. I'm not your role model, all right? I I'm just going to tell you what you what, what you should not do. Hey, Omega Man. Good day, Emperor. Casey invited you to be on the RV today. He says you can make at least $5,000. Why not give it a go? Money is money after all, in a nutshell. I gotta go urinate now. <laughs> Have a good one. Kaboom. <laughs> you have to urinate now. <laughs> I like that. I don't know about that. I might just do that to piss Blade off. I really don't want... I mean, I don't know what, which is worse. Because they're all egomaniacs like chicken. And they're all soulless. They all want to outshine one another, right? And then there's another thing. They just all want to humiliate Blade. And I can't sit idle. So the thing is that even though Blade, I guess I, he considers me his enemy, I don't really consider him an enemy. Big fat blob of fucking shit. Blade sits in his garage all day. Blade does it. He's a greedy fuck. He doesn't do it for the art. He does it for the greed. He does it for the money. I just don't want him to get humiliated by them. And that's what they're going to do. I swear to God, just one of these days, people are going to stop donating to Blade. And then he's going to come to realization that he's a bag of fucking fat pile of shit. Yeah, I don't really consider him an enemy. And Blade, I would fucking beat the living fuck out of you. You don't even chance, stand a chance against me. You're the fifth fight, you fat pile of shit. And they, they wouldn't want me on there because I would probably try to stop them from humiliating him. Like when he's drunk, he's passed out drunk. They'll make him into Hom Homer Simpson or Pepe La Frog. And I would probably just say, no, leave him alone. He's just fucking sleeping. But... I guess if you get into that state and you're around enem the enemy, you should never get in that state if you're around the enemy. Hence, hence Aldi 1K. He got blacked out drunk. He was in enemy territory. And I told him that. I said, listen, you don't never know what the fuck is going to go on on that RV. Don't get blacked out drunk. Don't drink the heavy liquor. Perhaps just drink the beer and drink them slowly like Bjorn does. He marathons drink. So I, I gave Aldi 1K a pep talk before he even went on the RV. And I said, just don't drink the heavy li liquor. Just drink the beers and drink slowly. Because you never know. You're, you're kind of in enemy territory. You have to feel them out. You have to, you know. Bleh. No, it's adrenaline. Adrenaline is a natural bio-fucking function in, in, in everybody it has. Well, most people have. Some people have a rare disease where they can't produce adrenaline <laughs> no whiskey shits yeah I actually took a regular shit I don't get the whiskey shits lately ever since I've been taking the metamucil I'll feel better after I take a nice whiskey shit it just comes out it comes out, it, it feels like it's a strain though, when I take a shit. <clears throat> it doesn't come out like as loose as it usually does back before I started doing it. I guess the Metamucil compacts your shit. The sweats, so it could be. Ah! Ah! One plop came out. <sighs> but usually, the whiskey shits is the consistency of like diarrhea and just a need to shit. And it's usually a slimy, wet type of shit. I hate to go into detail about it, but you're asking. <laughs> Let's see what Trisha Licious is doing tonight. Maybe we'll just kick it and we'll do the strip together. She might be a good wing person. Because then the women would think I'm with her, and then I'm less threatening. Let's get jiggy with it. 
can I touch you? This. I want you to relax. My <laughs> No, I'm coming on too strong. She might be a good wing man or a wing woman. She's not into me, I know that. I don't think she's into me sexually or anything like that. We're friend we're actually friends. Maybe friends with benefits? That's a good fucking angle. Chat. Yeah. I would have hung out with them if I was awake last night. She actually invited me to hang out. She Instagrammed me. She told me to bring a friend if I wanted to. I do have a lady friend, or a lady. I have a couple lady friends, but I, I never show them on stream because you motherfuckers would massacre them and find out where they work and find out their Instagram and then fucking harass them. Oh, you were teeth or, you know, he sticks man pounds up his ass. Oh, whoa, whoa. The man pond. I get no skid marks on there, nothing. Nothing. I don't urinate in myself. I don't piss myself. I'm pretty, uh, you know, keep everything fresh. I put fucking baby powder under my balls so I don't sweat under my balls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> slow, I'm gonna fucking go. Grunge man! This oh, media donation is sponsored by Man Puns for Men. You heard me right. Man Puns for Men. When you can't find a bathroom to take a whiskey dump, you can always count on Man Puns for Men to get you through. <laughs> Duly noted, man. Is a medium? <laughs> <laughs>